Don't you make noises at me. Um, do do. I'm gonna see something. It's not that many. Do do do. It's fine. Boop. Boop. Oh, there we go. Bridge is being built. That takes them a while, doesn't it? No. It'd be way too easy to get an, uh, a cripple to be using the artifact crutch. You have far too much faith in our dwarves. All right, diorite lever. Link to a bridge, the only one I have. Building the trigger. Do now. Then I'll create a wall from there to there. Or I should say I'll create a wall from there to there. And then that should be mostly good to go. I think they've even grabbed all the stones along the way too. As we started getting more and more idlers, so there can't be that many more stone, if any. It goes over there, continues up. More gold. Goes up, goes around, goes down. I need to make hatches. Out of marble. Again, we will install them there. I'll have one guy dig a hole through, and then I will have him retreat. And oh, that poor human axeman. That poor, poor human axeman. He, he is so doomed. Um, I'm about to, like, cancel that sound effect. Alright, I'm muting that audio line for now. Just because I, I don't want to hear that sound anymore. I'm tired of hearing that sound. Uh, do 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 do. How goes? I said to do it, but it's not being done. Why is it not being done? Now it's being done. Great. As soon as I look at him, it's like, oh God, I'm being looked at. Maybe I should do my job. I wonder. We have 160. Okay, so all those dwarves that are thirsty are just thirsty because they're hauling. That's got to be it. They've just been carrying stone for a long time. They really wish I had turned on the um, wheelbarrows again. There you go. Wheelbarrows are allowed. <laughs> right when the last of them gets there with the stones like why aren't you using the wheelbarrows they're here for your pleasure don't settle too close to necromancers don't settle too close to necromancers settle close enough to the goblins make sure that the necromancers aren't evil make sure they're your friends give them plenty of chocolate chip cookies linking building to thingy. There it is. Leatherworking demonstration. Once that is linked up and the other part is done, which by the way, is the other part done? We don't know. Um, build hatch? Hatch. Still don't have those hatch covers. We have approved it, they just haven't been done. They need to be done at the Masons. The Mason is doing them now. Goody. Other than the occasional scare from Hill Titans plummeting through outside your window, this hat this fortification waterfall has proven to be quite quite good at this. As long as you ignore the occasional hill titan, you know, flappy balls going by your window. Seems to work wonders. It's 
Still linking a building to the trigger. Still making the marble hatch covers. Now this one just goes to the lever, right? So this one should be like right here. That's just up one level on the stairs. All right, that lever has now been done. I'm going to pull it to set it into position. Whenever it wants to, of course. I wouldn't want to rush it. Wunderbar. Now to start building up the wall to make that actually, you know, have a point. How are the hatch covers coming? Do I have two? No access to hatch covers. Because I'm in the wrong one. Oopsie. Now I have access to hatch covers. Oh my god, can you imagine that trip? They've got to go all the way to the bottom of the map. To come all the way back up. <laughs> I just thought of that. That is, that's literally the furthest point away from my base. That is the furthest point away from my base. They have to go all the way down to get into the right path to come all the way back up. That poor, poor bastard. What is with this dog? This dog is just always sitting here in the wrong position. And who's building this wall? Store item, eat, drink, store item, store, prepare, construct. This is the hatch cover. We saw another construct. That one's going to be the wall. TikToks. Of course it's TikToks. Having to go all the way down. <laughs> Come all the way back up. He's got like the worst jobs. Or be the necromangers. This is true. Why have you interrupted me? All right, you're possessed. To do what? Apparently nothing. Fantastic. Thank you for your great contribution. A leatherworks. Ugh. Fine. Build workshop. Leather. Leatherworks. Uh, what are you? The smelter. I don't need you anymore. Build workshop leather. Build the leather works up here out of what? A slate block. That way he can claim it and start doing whatever the hell it is he needs to do in life. Build construction wall. That dude just now got here with the hatch cover. Holy shit. Actually, I can do multiple of these at once. Build construction wall. I can order both of those two together at once. Though that would be a dumb idea. Build construction wall. When I should do this. Huzzah. Now he gets to start his long path all the way back up. Now, how is that leatherworks coming? It's been built. So is he gonna claim it? Where's the mood? His mood is strange. Here he comes now. This is my leatherworks. He's getting parts, so that's that's a good start. What is this? Old carpenters. He just grabbed a piece of leather out of a carpenter's workshop. Why was there water buffalo leather in the... Because of the mood the carpenter had. Oh my god. He's literally picking the scraps from a previous mood that failed. And now he himself is failing. Shit. What does he want? A log. Do we not have logs? He 
Because of the wooden pot order? Why? Why no logs? No logs. Also, how long has this man been dead in this room? Really? No logs. We're not allowed to have happy dwarves, are we? It's gotta be something I built that used a wooden log. Academia wood. Come by a farmer's workshop. I'm not going to those caves. They're dangerous. It's not like it's not like dealing with hidden fun stuff that's super, super easy and nice to deal with. This should make him leave as soon as it's deconstructed. All right, he's claimed that wood log. We'll come back to him in a second. Build construction wall. And the worst thing is, the other dude still isn't here yet with the hatch. Oh no, he is. I was looking at the wrong thing again. Awkward. Lock that door. It's all started when he built those temples. Summer has arrived. Huzzah. We're still under siege too. I can't wait for a siege buddies to start making babies. Now when is the date? Heads up, I don't know what it'll be, but next Saturday, I may not be doing Dwarf Fortress. Just because we're getting close to my birthday, and I might want to do something else. I don't know what it'll be, I'll probably just end up being Dwarf Fortress again, possibly. But I'm addressing the possibility, so that no one thinks I've lied to him, that it might not be. I don't know what it'll be, though. Something fun. Maybe grounded. Maybe one for one on one, I don't know. Also, apparently there's a recall of red onions in the U.S. due to salmonella. See, this is why you don't get red onions. Everyone knows you make onions red by bathing them in chickens. That's why I'm always saying, never bathe your onions in chickens. No one listens to me. <laughs> why does everything seem to have salmonella in the United States? It's cabbage, lettuce, Qdoba. Red onions, everything's always like, oh, new, new case salmonella. We got salmonella everywhere. He didn't start his thing yet. Is he stuck? Shit. What do you need? Silk cloth. He's dead. He's dead. Sucks to be him. He's gone forever. Never to be heard from again. Who is this? Why? Why the hell? Is this man? All right, let's say I could. Let's say I could safely get this man silk. Where did I do it? One of these I accessed via hatch purely for this reason, essentially. I'll get a loom or whatever so we can get silk done up in the thread. I have the hatch to keep us safe, I guess. Well, I like onions though, so this sucks. I, I too like onions. I really like caramelized onions on things. And kind of onions. The only time I don't like onions is when I'm an idiot and I eat them. So context. <laughs> Before the, the quarantine and everything started, I would do uh, one of those learn how to cook services, basically. Uh, Healthy Fresh, I think is what it was. Healthy Fresh. And 
and every like you do their things but their recipes would sometimes be absurd be like oh do this and do this it's like i don't even like the taste of that so i'm not putting that in but um they would also always be like all right well this is for two people and you can do this for four and so they'd be like do a quarter of an onion or do a half and do this sometimes you'd be left with things left over after you've done it i forget what the food was i made something and without thinking i'd had an onion there and like it was an apple or something. I was just like, I'd had half of one. Is just, just omnod into an onion. Took me like two solid bites before the stinging started. And I was like, oh, oh, why have I done this to myself? So yeah, um, don't just bite into an onion. Apparently that's how you get the salmonella. Uh, loom, clothiers. Is there something else? No, I think I'm good. I think I just need to loom to make cloth. By the way, the salmonella onions have caused salmonella in 48 states in Canada. Oh, good. Good. I was worried it would be widespread. All right, so this needs to be done very carefully. No. I don't want more than one person doing this. I want one person doing this so I can say, er, back the fuck up. When he runs back, I'm gonna have a ton of cancellations, but I don't care. I want one guy to do this. Where are my miners? Did I lock both of them already? I did not. Mine. Maybe they're eating. Maybe that's interrupting every single miner I have. There we go. If I can swing it, maybe try to tell him to do a second one. If it looks like he's not the one that's getting that command, I'll cancel it and we'll just do the alert and tell everyone to run the fucking side. So there's some onions. Apparently there's a mass recall brewing for the red onion as well as any other onion that could have come into contact with red onions. Why? That has to have been because of the plant in the middle. Because you wouldn't have that many onions from, say, one farm. So there had to have been a farm that messed up or something, somehow salmonella. It, it, it had to have occurred, the great mixing, had to have been at a central redistribution point or something from the spread like that. That's a lot of states. probably been easier to leave those doors locked unlock the front base doors have a guy run out to mine and come back that would have been like way easier than whatever the hell i'm doing way easier here he comes You're already there, you're already there, you're already there. It's not gonna be him. Oh well, one white path it is. There we go, we don't have to interrupt anyone. Nobody knows what happened. Tis a mystery. That has been completed. When he comes back and I ignore the dog who is standing in the wrong area for the longest time, I will, f I will finish this wall and then we'll... F I can't. I have to breach. I forgot like the core aspect of this. I have to breach. So wait, what if I don't finish this? Who is the miner who is returning? I'm gonna need that wall to be there like that.
We're just gonna have to see who does this. It's not him. It's not Bear Grills 88. He's not the one wanting to be the, 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 the clown can opener. I got to watch though, because if the miner gets down here before the wall guy does, by like too much of a margin, then this will be a bad idea. Because <laughs> he'll pop it and then we'll just all die. Huzzah! There's the miner. There's the wall guy. Oh, fuck me. First of all, I'm laying down a save point right here. And so I see which way this plan catastrophically fails. No, it'll be, it'll be perfect. It'll be fine. You accrued an interesting sheen on your headset that makes you look like you're wearing a helmet and it seemed fitting. Now I'm sad because I have no sandwich. <laughs> That's how I know I couldn't get my food. Well, it's a good thing you came here with your problem, because let me tell you, I am certified to be able to identify the difference between an omelet and a pancake. Got certified just the other day. That's how you know I'm good. Probably should have had him mine at the bottom. Where are you? Um, no. You're you're there too fast. Also, who are you? Unnamed miner. I think we were fine with this. Build the wall. Build the wall. Build the fucking wall. Turn around. Oh, good. Got the wall done. Oh, now we can all die. <laughs> we haven't done what we haven't done this in like. Ever had anything ahead, one of these? You have discovered an eerie cavern. The air above the dark stone floor is alive with vortices of purple light and dark, boiling clouds. Seemingly bottomless, blowing pits mark the surface. No screams? Is this supposed to scream? Horrifying screams come from the darkness below. There we go. Now we have the screams. Um, how close were they? That is so amazing. Look at that. Told you. Told you that shit was hollow. How much more could we have gotten, though? Um, could have gotten a bit there. I don't know. It was very hot. That is, look at it. Just spawns them all right below the the the, the tube as well. Like it literally just spawns them in a five by five square below the tube. All right, they're coming up. And so our miner. Where is our miner in this? The Haunt of Shadow kicks the Mind King in the left hand with its right second foot. The injured part explodes into gore. An artery was opened by the attack. The Haunt of Shadow kicks him in the left upper arm, smashing. Where's Lethal? The Fiend of Steam pushes the Mind King, but the attack is deflected by his chicken leather cloak. Chicken chaser. The Haunt of Shadow kicks the Mind King in the head with its left second foot. The injured part explodes into gore. An artery was opened by the attack and the Mind King was found dead. All right, let's see what I failed to do. All right, they're boiling, they're going into that room. Why aren't they trying to go outside? The path 
entrance is open, they should be able to pathfind out there. Or vice versa. God damn, look at our frames. Six, five, four. Holy shit. Come on, there we go. They're getting it. They're getting the idea. All right, pathfinding's happening. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh my fucking Lord. Two massive armies trying to pathfind to each other at the same time. Three frames a second. This right here is why I have a two PC stream set up. This is exactly why I don't do Dwarf Fortress on anything other than a dual PC setup. Holy fuck. Up, oh, up, oh, we're up to five, six. Up, oh, up, oh, I think, I think we're chugging up. The train's accelerating. We're getting those, we're getting those frames back, boys and girls. A chugga chugga, doom doom. A chugga chugga, doom doom. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus. Pretty soon we're not gonna be measuring in frames per second. We're gonna be measuring in seconds per frame. Look at all those demons, holy shit. Just buy a faster CPU. Just, just do it. I don't think, I don't, I, I don't think you can get too fast a CPU to fix this. Come on. Oh, we climbed all the way up to eight frames, nine, 10. I don't know what's freeing up, but we're getting there. 10 whole frames a second. Can you believe it? That's like twice as many as five. Now the real question though, can I get to the top? Are the, they pathfinding down? They are. <laughs> Both of these idiots are pathfinding to each other at the same time. Oh my God, if I pause the frames come back. So while I am here, where was I building this? Needs weaving. So I need someone with weaving. Do I not have someone with weaving? I'm guessing the guy with weaving is the guy having the mood. So we'll turn weaving on for everyone down there. All right, now we'll go back to our scheduled death fight. And as soon as you hit resume, it goes from 90 and it hits a brick wall. Holy shit. No, we're actually maintaining 30s, 20s. Come on guys, you can do it. I have faith in you. Just gotta do those calculations. Go up, it's not locked, you morons. Are they trying to destroy him? Is that what's happening? Oh my god, the demons are so fast. How the hell did the demons get up here before these idiots could figure it out? They're literally trying to destroy the building from below because of the building destroyer tag. There's the fire. There we go. Are, are, are they getting through? Come on. Are you kidding me? An unlocked floor hatch is stopping them right now. Sound sense. Oh, there we go. They did get in. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. We have, we have freed the demons to the outside world. Let it never be said that we are not assholes. Just look at all that fire. Holy fuck. Wait for them to see the light of day. Oh! We pissed off the steam doggos. Come on up. Come on up. Steam doggos versus demons of hell. Round one. Ding. By the way, real quick. I'm trying to do things. As there's no one at the bridge now, the entire group ran through. Just so we can get some frames back. <laughs> lots and lots of fun. You should have to worry about missing the action by the battle of the staircase of doom. You gotta have that fire before the demons shoot fire in the taverns of the mist area. <gasps> I didn't think of that. No. Hopefully they're not that smart. He's released the Rona. It, this is just such a convoluted fight. Why are you idiots acting like you're stuck at this? Just go through. Like, look, there's hardly anyone in this tunnel. They're genuinely somehow perplexed by this hatch. Just walk through it. It wasn't supposed to be that big of a hindrance. All right, what do we still have going? Bunch of underworld and still a bunch of invaders and undead. There's just a ton of them here. I mean, our friendlies and the undead down here haven't moved yet because they're still by the fucking uh, the necromancer. Down here, they, they're not even part of the fight yet. I mean, if you want to, we can look at the combat log, but this is what I'm expecting to see. The Fiend of Steam is caught in a cloud of steam. The Fiend of Steam is caught in a cloud of steam. Fiend of Steam, this is my fight too. This might require an answer. Why is the Fiend of Steam act like he's a paladin? I have a part in this. There is no need to feel vengeful. I cannot just stand by. I have a part in this. This is my fight, too. Why are the fiends of steam fucking paladins? By the holy light of the infernal blaze below the earth, I will bring death and destruction upon all and purify the world so that none may stand against the forces of tyranny. Like an evil Zordon. Rangers, with your five demon powers combined, we must stop the vile Rita Repulsa and her ways of charity. The Fiendus team is bitching about the rain. Oh no, I got rained on. How dare you, skies above? Really? That's literally all this asshole says. Are we the baddies? Are we the baddies, Rangers? Alpha. Report. Are we the baddies? Hey, hey, hey. We are not the baddies, Zordon. Um, Etem's disaster bites the Fiend of Steam. The Fiend of Steam actually it loses? How does that work? Bites the Fiend of Steam in the left wing. And do the Fiends of Steam even have an attack or do they just die? 
Oh my god, as soon as you hit resume. Oh shit! A demon got all the way out here. There's a snow devil. A gigantic quadruped composed of snow. There's large mandibles and a gaunt appearance. Is this one like mate? Where, where did he go? Did he melt? The frosty the snowman? Okay, no, he's just taking to the skies, of course. Hold on. Had to pause. I want to see if we would lower the bridge yet. I have a part in this. Would he melt? Snow devil. That's some necromancer experiments are on par with demons. A what appearance? Gaunt. Like exceptionally skinny. Uh, anorexic. An anorexic appearance. The ones that are stuck in here still drive me crazy. I'm wondering if this is like where frames per second loss is. Because when it got through here, it picked up. It's look look at all of them. Look at all the demons in one square. You can't because my head's in the way. Hold on. In one square on this door. A winged brute, a snow devil, a haunt of shadow, a demon of flame, a demon of flame, and another snow devil. Like, what the shit? As a matter of fact, let's see if I can't move this up for those descriptions. Frosty the demon, he'll consume your soul tonight. With a straight left jab and a right roundhouse. Better watch out for his bite. I can't open it. It's open. It's not locked. <laughs> They're just morons. I literally think what happened previously is the guys below somehow came up and then in the surge, a bunch of them ran down. They're still fighting down here. Oh, no, wait. No, that's a mangled corpse. I don't know. With dudes. Is there a way to like delete a construction? No, because we needed it to make sure the enemy didn't come and attack us while we were setting it up. The point of this was to stop the outside running in before we were ready. I didn't think it would stop the inside too. Nope, you already said it. The dudes. Gotta make sure to get those dudes. By the way, welcome to the stream, Blood Angel. Yeah, fat is flavor. Fat is good. Like literally the big, the big overweight epidemic in America started when they tried to get rid of fat and they replaced everything with sugar. Because all of a sudden everyone realized, oh God, everything tastes awful when you remove the fat content. Weird. We are up to eight whole frames though. Nine, ten, picking up. Eleven. Nothing can stop the doom drain. Why are some of them going backwards? Pause. Why are you going backwards? Because the bridge lowered? Actually, hold on. When I'm at the bridge, how much frames do I maintain if I'm not looking at them? 11, 12 whole frames if I don't have to see what they're doing. I think the demons are winning though. Because... I think all the bad guys that are left are the ones down here. Oh God, they're fighting. I didn't know they had reached. I guess they just got close enough. It's a real good thing that there's not a whole bunch of smoke and mist blocking the bloody battle. And it's like every now and then you do see like a, just a burst of flame or an arrow go through the mist. Oh, 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 oh. 
Who's shooting that fireball? Oh, something happened. For the longest time, we were at 23 frames and I wasn't paused. Uh oh, demon. Fire demon fell in the water. That can't be good. He's fighting the undead in the water. Yo, this dude is just shooting fireballs like no tomorrow. Is it possible to destroy those hatch covers? Not for my side. It's possible for them to do it, but I can't. Drink something new. I have pickles with 10 grams of sugar per serving. The serving is 28 grams. One third of the pickle of sugar is disgusting. So needs some sugar. You mean salt? Should be salt. I think we Sugar, calories, zero, total fat, zero, saturated trans, cholesterol, sodium, massive amount. I'll give you that. Total sugar, zero grams. What are you eating? Sugar shouldn't... Pickles don't have sugar in it. What are you eating? That's not a, that's not a pickle. I don't know what that... If you had said salt, I'd have believed you. Oh, wait. Oh, holy shit, what happened? We're at 45 frames. I'm not paused. We got our frames back when I went to get pickles. Pickles, praise be. Praise be the power of pickles. I hey, uh, pickles. Uh, I think the demons are winning you. I hate pickles. My dog fathers like five girls and one fell and crushed my foot. I wouldn't mind savory pickles. This tastes like pickle and syrup. Forest fire soon. Other times just a jar of juice. I thought it was lemonade, nasty. Only you can prevent demon forest fires. I have a part in this. <laughs> I have a part in this. No, I mean sugar. It's sweet pickles. What is a sweet pickle? You mean like gherkins? Gherkins are sweet. <laughs> yes, pickle powered frames. Did the demons get killed? The smoke is gone. No, the demons are still around, I think. Yeah, they're flying around up in the air now. The demons won the fight, but the undead are still alive? Why are the undead still alive? The undead are on the ground, the demons are in the air, so I'll have my frames back. Actually, I've lost quite a few. We used to be around 90. We're down at like 48 now, give or take. So we've lost about 52 frames. 42 frames, I can math. We lost about 42 frames, but... The best part is the bridge door worked. I'm genuinely pleased with that. <laughs> now question, I want to see if I can cheat this. I blocked off the wall then my question is so I've seen how it generates before what if I do reveal unreveal ah damn it I was hoping you would literally hide what was inside there so I wouldn't see the hell anymore so it stopped them spawning but yeah, no, they all exist on the map now. In peaceful harmony. Because we're still under siege. Because for some reason, the demons have seen fit to not attack what is left. They attack all the favorable ones. So all of our friends are dead. But they're not killing a lot of the undead for some reason. 
They don't know why. There's just random undead walking around. Somewhere around killing all of the other creations, they got freed. By frames per second freed up. I genuinely don't know. I could purge most of them, and I think using DF hack, and I think get some frames back. But I'm kind of at a loss for why. Now, if I look at the dude who is having a mood, did he go crazy? No, he did not go crazy. I'm guessing they made his silk cloth. Whatever we did was good enough to... Is he coming up or down? He's going down. I'm guessing uh, when I connected to the thing and built the whatever up that they grabbed enough spider webs to make silk cloth. Ta-da! I can gather silk cloth. Oh, 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 oh. Who's fighting now? A Kestrel. They're literally chasing down random birds now. Oh my god. Kill the undead. I'm still under siege. Why? Why would you not just attack the undead? Why do you hate me so? Began a mysterious construction. Perfect. Some of them are, but a bunch of them aren't. So a bunch of them did get caught, but like, look at the ones that aren't. There's a dwarf, Mark's dwarf corpse, just walking around, having a good old time, just existing, no care in the world. <laughs> yeah, it kind of didn't, did it? Now we have demons and undead in the overworld above us. I would say though that the demons definitely won that. As of the undead, we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's not count the caged ones. They weren't in the fight. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six of the Necro army left alive and the underworld has like, I don't know, 30, I'm not counting them all. So I think they won that. But yeah, no, they're not. They're, they're just not. What collapsed? Oh, literally, what is collapsing? I don't see a fire. I don't even see an air poof. What is collapsing? Is it down here? Oh my God, I found the fire. Why was it focused over there when I'm burning down over here? made of pickles i would not eat relish and say oh this the pickles it's relish the undead are caged let it go as planned you set up a visitor allowed tavern so demons can kill more things would that even bring anyone down this is fine.jpg could be trees are probably on fire lol tree laps the future fps of this game is collapsing well no the fire will stop when it hits the river I like how we just still have the dwarf in here preparing those raw muscles. Gotta prepare those muscles. Why am I down here now? All right, things just got a little worse. The fire got across. A tree could catch fire 
cause a cave-in, and maybe the cave-in could punch a hole in my roof and kill the base. We might genuinely have the end of the base here. I didn't think of that. I don't think there's... I mean, it's generating the poof, so there's gotta be something falling. If something falls, it can go through a floor if there's not wall, wall below it. An artifact has been completed. Hooray! Hooray! Rith Dasner, whatever name, survivalist, has created Rath Khan, a bell shaped water buffalo leather skirt. She claims as an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor, Sodal Square Floors. Rath Khan, the Temple Master, a bell shaped water buffalo leather skirt, weighing less than one pound. This is a bell-shaped water buffalo leather skirt. All craft storeship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of water buffalo leather, white stork leather, cat leather, and cave spider silk. The object menaces with spikes of macadamia wood, and on the item is an image of a desert titan in marble. Something collapsed on the surface. Now, I generally do a good job making sure there's no trees above my base, but some of these are kind of close, like that tree. That tree's not close. That tree uh, is, is bad. They are wooden walls, but they don't burn. Nope. Bri okay, so let's don't say that. Don't say except bridges when they're down. A bridge is not a construction a bridge is an object it is an entity it is an interactable build big c i know this doesn't say construction but it's big c for construction i say with my head in the way big c for construction these are the constructions when a bridge is up it acts like a wall and thus is duplicating a construction. A bridge is not in and of itself a construction. It is not that a bridge when down is destroyable, it is a bridge when up is not. Very fine difference, but a difference nonetheless. Build a wall, doesn't matter. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the, the central thing doesn't go away. I'm talking about if there's a cave-in and it generates a strong enough air poof it could punch through the floor. But it looks like the fire stopped. So we're, we're safe. I wasn't... Because remember, even if nothing collapses, it can destroy a floor. Hiya. Also, I don't think I hear myself too much. Hey, Steven Robert. For a good time to remind you to look at Legends. Uh... No, no, there's never a good time. We're never looking at Legends again. It's never gonna happen. Yeah, sure, we can look at Legends at the end. So last time, here's what happened last time. I know, I know what you're scared of, and it is partially my fault. I'm gonna lower the audio in the game a little bit. Last time, I had intended to look at Legends, but then ended it to raid someone exactly at 12. That is because he had showed up in the channel and was like interested, and I was like, yep, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll throw a little love around Dwarf Fortress, all that great. And I said at 12, if he was streaming, I would raid him. That was because I like I told him that's what I was gonna do, so that's what I did. I have made no such declarations in this stream. So if we get to 12, doesn't matter, or whatever time, we can just look at legends. That was the only reason why last time I did it that way was because I told him he's like, well, I normally stream at 12. And I said, Alright, if you're I'll check at 12. If you're if if you're live at 12, I'll raid you then. I didn't think it through completely. I didn't know because I, I knew I run late. I knew I run late. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think it through, but I didn't. But I said it, so I went through with it. That is why we ended early at that point. I have no fear. I have a part in this. So, uh, do any of you demons feel like attacking the undead at all? Like, you're on the ground. Why aren't you attacking the undead? A human is visiting again. You poor deluded bastard. Where are you? 
Wait, where is he? You on the edge somewhere? I don't see you. Can you wave for me? Oh, there he is. I'm sure this one human hammer man will be able to take on the undead and demonic hordes on this map. Go forth, champion. Save us from our destruction. Please and thank you. <laughs> this is fine. Or Umen. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is basically another dead base. We've had the last two or three bases have ended like that. Oh, oh, the demons, don't run from him. Go forth. Go forth and defeat him. I have faith in you. He died. What was his fight like? Uh, the steam pushes, pushes, pushes. What was lethal? A haunted shadow. The fiends of steam seem to be garbage at attacking. Like if it was just fiends of steam, I generally think I could kill them, with, even with what we have now. All they ever seem to do is push. So I think the fiends of steam are garbage. The haunt of shadow though, kicks people in the head and the head explodes. So we would somehow need the haunt of shadow. Yeah, pushes them, but there's no force. We would need all the Haunt of Shadows, and I think the Demons of Flame to die, and maybe the Snow Devils, and possibly the Winged Brutes, and then uh, we could win. We would just need like 95% of all the Demons to, to stop, and, and we could win. Can you at least stop saying I'm under siege, please? Yeah! Magna Dracomon. Yeah, you're right. You are dead. All right. If you're wanting to get in on this, feel free. We've done so well. What did you roll? 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Magna Dracomon, you are a... Mechanic, you're a grease monkey. We haven't gotten interrupted though, have we? They're trying to access something over there that they can't reasonably access, so I'm getting cancellation spam from that. Um Magna Dracomon. Did you evolve to no friends? No, you do have a friend. You have one uh, unnamed dwarf as a friend and you prayed to Bah Bimmy Hoban. Bimmy Hoban most often takes the form of a male human associated with lakes, twilight, and the dawn. Magna Dracomon recently thought people can be so angry and I just don't understand it. Magna Dracomon is almost never sick, but she is never clumsy. Magna Dracomon likes real light, lay pewter, black zircon, mackerel tooth, knaf fabric, linen paper, the color amethyst, short swords, helms, floodgates, horses for their strength, boogeymen for their terror inspiring antics, olive trees for their oil giving fruit, the words of the lavender velvet, the sound of the velvety petal, and the sight of the lacy metal of trotting. When possible, she prefers to consume muscle. You're in luck. Pineapple wine and olive oil. She absolutely detests flies. She has a meager keen aesthetic sense and she dreams of creating a great work of art someday. Boy, are you in luck if you like muscles. I seem to come at dire times. I haven't been here in a while. How do I get a dwarf in this sport? You type in the dwarf command, Hectic Herman. Exclamation mark DWARF. What the fuck? Mangled ribs. Oh my, Lamal. We have thousands of those. Um, someone wanted to be in the military. Steven, you're already in the military. Yeah. I'm rejecting your request to be in the military. We got a new dwarf in our base. Number one for Hectic Hermit. You are, oh, you're the dyer. You're in this, uh, Weaver's Guild. 
Hectic hermit living in the sun. Will he die? He is number one. I'm a great singer. I'm really glad none of the demons have decided to go to the base of the waterfall and just blow fire through it. We would be dead. We would be so dead. Um, all right, Hectic Hermit. Hectic Hermit has no friends. He has passing acquaintances, a lot of them, but no friends. Hectic Hermit prays to Toasted. Toasted most often takes the form of female dwarfs associated with sacrifice and fortresses. Recently, Hectic Hermit thought, I feel so good. She felt this way due to being really, really drunk. Hectic Hermit is clumsy, flimsy, and very weak. Hectic Hermit likes shale, black bronze, clear zircon, giant cockatiel tooth, goat bone, giant moon snail shell, the color blue, crossbows, weapon racks, and the sight of the flowery couple. When possible, she prefers to consume brook lamprey and sand pear cider. She absolutely detests jumping spiders. She has a great feel for the surrounding space, a good memory and willpower, but she has a shortage of patience, poor empathy, quite poor focus, and a poor ability to manage or understand social relationships. And she dreams of raising a family someday. She personally dislikes cooperation and values self-control. I see we have hit that mark point though. So for those of you watching the YouTube archive, thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys next time. If we're alive then.